So I've been out here about, I don't know, maybe two hours. And this is one of the harder pieces that I have to duplicate in an exact mirror. Not exact, but you know, close enough. So here it is. I found the best way to do it was just, I made this tube already, right? right? So I wire tied it to the back of that one. And then the first thing I did was make this curve to the right length and then cut it off. Now I have to cut this, 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 and this out and make those little half curves like this one has. Because that was the best way to do it. Just make it straight and then cut some other pieces and bend them after the fact. It's got one, two, three, four dimples. So I'm going to make one, two, three, four dimples. And I did them line for line. If this one's four, three inches, this one's three inches, three and an eight, three and a sixteen, three. You know, they're just, they're all over the place. It actually gets smaller as it moves towards the right or the center because I only have so much room you know um, one of them I forgot to do the bend but I found out that it was sticking out just a little bit from the other one so when I put it I opened the vise all the way I put it between the vise and I just hammered it all the way across and then you just open it up and look down the length of it and they're pretty good just go like that there you go pretty damn good considering it's not even real so this will go on the passenger side after I clean up some welds and do a lot of grinding and make those little whoopsie doos there. Do I feel like doing the whoopsie doos right now? Nah. Maybe a little grinding. I'll put on my gloves and clean up some corners right now. Um, there. That's got to be welded again. Nothing crazy really. I thought it was going to be a bitch. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, let's put it down there and I'll show you what it looks like. Here we go. It's an exact opposite of that one. Alright, I'm going to take some pictures. Um, I might do a little more welding. We'll see. Having fun. Alright, I need to show you what cool looks like. Now understand, when I first started building this thing, I was like, eh, Red Baron, eh, you know, the, is there hatred? You know what I mean? People hate everything. But I don't care. I like it. That's why I made it. Um, first time I painted it, I was like, eh, that red's a little too bright. It looks like a toy. It looks a lot like a toy. It's my painting table. You know what these are. I got this on the side of the road for free. Throw it outside, throw it inside when it dries. But I want to show you something. We are about 90% done. I literally have to cover a couple more panels and paint them. How cool is that? And every panel, except the front fender, is distressed. It has cracks and scars and bullet holes and worn down. And This one's sanded, but you can't tell. This aileron is done. It's been done for a while. Now it's duplicate on the other side is done. And Let, whoop, let me go over there. I should have had that tape on there. <laughs> It's at the exact same space. It clears perfectly. It's just got to be fiberglassed. The hinges are exact, identical, reverse. Look at, see it ride the edge? Just a little bump there, but that's so the seat would clear. Wait to see this one red and two big crosses on them. This is my favorite, though. It's not connected. <laughs> but it's there. I left the rod extra long and I'll show you why. It's actually bent over just a little bit. It's dead nut center with the crank. Which is the center of the Volkswagen engine, so. And it makes a nice rain cover for the air cleaner, you know. Because it's fiberglass, who cares? And it says red bearing. Red bacon. That is freaking awesome. I can't believe I made this thing. Just gotta paint those damn rims black and chrome or black and polished aluminum. That is awesome. But when it's painted bright shiny red, it looks like a toy. And I mean like a plastic toy. When it's distressed and dry and cracked and bullet holes in it and everything, it looks almost real. There's my skull, alright, with this little portal of merit. <sighs> It's just sitting there for pictures. 
I still need my hydraulic line though. And we'll have front brakes. I'm gonna turn the lights on. Yes. Alright, so it's another day, another night. I'm out here wrapping up uh, more tablecloth over the passenger side top wing. And just like the last time, we're gonna do these two slots last, right here. Uh, using like bailing wire, chicken wire, whatever. I'll show you what it looks like. I could do this with one hand, right? There you go. It's just like the other one. I love how the one on the end is a little tighter than the rest. Actually, I'm sorry. The inside one is tighter than the rest. This is the end one. I'm going to pull this one and this one tight. I'm only going to do the top, and then tomorrow I'll grind it off and I'll do the bottom end and the edges. Um, I got something in the mail today, too. I thought these were pretty cool, so I bought a set. I actually bought one. It was like, I don't know, six bucks with freight and all that crap. And a uh, nice company sent me a whole bunch of them. I got four little ones, a big one, some American flags, and a sticker with their company name on it. I'll have to put a link down the bottom. That is cool. Of course, I can't put it on until the tank's done, but I could put it on the tank. Nah. But I like it here. You should get these made. Get a whole bunch of the little ones made. Give them out to kids, you know what I mean? All right. I'm going to wrap this puppy and put its first layer of resin on and uh, wish for the best. Have a good day. Only if I press the stop button. Alright, it's getting tight and looking good. Not too bad. We still got our ripples. Nice and tight. That's where that bracket mount is for the seat. It's like a tunnel of string in there. It just goes everywhere. So that's it. It's time for some resin. I'm only worried about the top. Woohoo! Love this right here. Look at that. Do, 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 do. Alright. Mixing resin and having fun.
So while the resin's hardening, I'm sitting over near the bike, right in front of it, in this plastic chair, mapping out the large iron cross for the top wing, or the cover for the torsion tubes. Um, this is actually the inside. All this will be black, and there's a white line around the whole thing, and you can see it ends here. Goes down, this is a white stripe. Da, 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 da. And when it comes over to here, it gets real close, but there's about a quarter of an inch all the way across. In the pictures, it goes onto the aileron, but I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is rip off the tape where the white stripe goes, paint it, let it dry, paint it again, put um, peel the center off, which it's going to end up staying red, mask that off, and then paint that black. Makes it so much easier to make the X and then work your way from the inside out. And then distress sand the whole damn thing and put it in a matte clear. That's going to be a lot of fun. But I got all this red to cover up before I can do anything. All right, see you in a bit. The resin's uh, hardening up pretty good, too. I can see it. I can smell it. It smells good. Oh, my God, this stuff would make you so stupid so fast. It's probably better than alcohol. Oh. All right, having fun. So here's my crackly white paint trick. I love how it did it on just the corners. Everywhere there's a corner crackled. That's awesome. Crackle, crackle, crackle. Ooh! Ooh! That's okay. That's the idea. So when I wet sand it, it's just going to show a little bit of red right through it. Alright, I'm not staying out here with all this fiberglass smell. <laughs> and paint smell I'm going down <laughs> just kidding I gotta get out of here so we're gonna have a white X tomorrow maybe one more no that'll be fine I did about two or three coats right I did a little dust thing walked away shook the can for a bit came back soaked it because I knew it would do that and that and uh... I did at least three coats. Came back when the red started crackling through. Soaked it again. But the deal is, is when we wet sand it, we're going to see the red crackle through, and it's going to look like it's 100 years old. All right, have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow.
So I had this uh, round red thing that was sitting up here for probably two years. It's a speaker box from a 1930s car and uh, wasn't doing much. Back in the day they only had one speaker on a car anyway so um, I believe it's steel but it's pressed and I'm just messing around with it and I showed my friend and he's like that should go on the front looks like the nose of the airplane. I said how about underneath? And we'll make it a speaker, whether it be full range or a subwoofer or whatever. So that's what I did. There's nothing in there. It's just hollow right now. But this is the speaker box from a 1929 car. 2930. Um, whatever. I don't remember where I got it. It was eBay a long time ago. But it's been up there as long as I can remember. And the funny thing is it was already painted red and beat up. It was just real dirty. So I washed it out, found the right screws for the cover, and... I ran a quarter 20 bolt through it. I'm going to put a bigger one because it's got a bigger hole than quarter 20. And I rubber mounted it and whatnot. But they sell, um, it's actually 8 inches. They sell an 8 inch dual voice coil subwoofer for, for like 15 bucks. I, I don't expect the thing to thump, but every, every amount helps. And it just looks cool anyway. What else are you going to put in there, you know? Um, it's a speaker box. Let's put a speaker in it. Ugh. I'm going to sit in my chair for a minute. But yeah, it looks like the front of the airplane. And it fills up a little space. It's not in the way. Space. Fills up a little space. Um, and it's red. I haven't taken the tape off of the white yet. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. But um, I'm going to look into getting a speaker for that thing. Maybe a full range, 8 inch, 2 way. I don't know. I got these for the back because they were cheap. 10 bucks. Brand new in the box. Can't beat those. I mean, I'm already putting radio stuff on, but that was something I've had up there for a while, and I was like, that looks like the front of the airplane. What if we could use it somewhere else? And I like it. Once it's working, it'll be even better. All right. Um, did a lot today. I fiberglassed the other wing. I messed with speakers. I put a speaker box on. I taped up and painted the outer white X for the cross. Actually, I can take that off now. It's been like three hours. And to do the inside, you just mask off an X, cover the rest. I think I'll do that right now. I'll put it on time lapse and uh, I'll let you guys see me peel the tape off this piece. All right, back in a minute. Well, we peeled all the tape off, and here it is. It looks ridiculously stupid when there's no black center. I don't know why. Plus, the aileron hasn't painted yet, or skinned, or anything. I'll probably skin it tomorrow. But it'll make such a difference because it's going to add so much more red up here. This whole area is going to be all red. The cross is pretty damn big. If you look at the pictures of the real plane too, it's so big on the plane that it actually covers up like, you know, into the aileron a little bit. And I was like, nah, we can do it on here. I kept it a couple inches off the bottom and I kept it a quarter of an inch off the top. 
It'd be so much nicer when the center is painted black and then we start to wet sand things and smooth it out and distress it a little bit. It looks like a, I don't know, it looks like a, you know those plastic toys the kids play with out in the yard? That's what it looks like right now. <laughs> this one looked like that till I beat it up. The fender looks like a plastic toy. Gotta beat that up. But, let's get a full length picture here. Oh, I can't get over there. Hold on a minute. All right, it's the next day. What's today? I forget. Now it's Wednesday. She is hot as a rock. A little bit of bubblies, but those will pop out. Still got a wet sander. It looks like it's wet, but it's actually hard as a rock. I love the texture of it. It's pretty neat. I see all my wires wrapped up. Didn't stick to anything because I moved it around. Top looks good. The ends look good. A little bubble. It's like wax or something. No big deal. But just like the last one, I have to grind it and do the end over. Well, I got a whole bunch of these clamps at the flea market. These things. Dun, dun. Freaking sun is right in my driveway. There it is. I got like six or eight of these for five bucks. They're not super strong. Well, some of them are, I guess. I got that for a dollar. I got so many uh, of those things that ain't funny. Okay, even the first one closest to the wire collapsed just a little bit more, like the first one. On the other way, just because of the way it's pulled over and it's the end. So yeah, I'm going to grind this off, clean this up, cut all the wires. Let's see the wires. Oh, right on my speakers. I didn't think of that. That's right, I was covering them. Hold on, put this over here. I'm going to drop them, I know it. All right, let's see the wires. Crazy crisscross pattern to keep everything tight. It did good, not a big deal. That there. Put that behind me. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna run the store to get a Coke first. I need something cold and wet. I ain't going there. <sighs> we missed a little spot, but not bad. Little spot, no big deal. Nothing that can't be touched up later. All right, I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna work on this. Oh, I want you to see the. Uh, it's gonna be hard in the light, but nice. That thing is huge. I can't wait to paint the middle black, which should only take like two minutes. Look at all the crackly paint. That's going to look so old and so cool. That is awesome. It's weird how it did it like, it did this strip, and it did this strip. It did just a little here, then it ridiculously nailed it here, then nothing, then nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. And nothing for a little bit. I mean, it was like it was done on purpose. Somebody's watching over me here. That is freaking awesome. All right, I'm going to come back, trim off that. All right, I didn't feel like mixing any resin tonight, so we're going to do the Satin Black X. The white border is done. It's just under the tape. You can see it, but we're going to put this in black and uh, let it dry for a while, maybe till tomorrow. Or a few hours, because I get too excited, you know. And the idea is to make it look rough, so we're probably going to beat it up a little bit. I literally ran out of tape right there. Look at it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, shit. All right, having fun. All right, so we're ready to see how the black cross looks on the driver's side uh, wing. Kicking cans. I'm going to set you up and do a time lapse just because, well, I can. 
but uh, she look good. It's a shame to beat up the paint, but that's what we gotta do. Alright, I'm fun. Really good. We got some spots where the white didn't cover the red or the black didn't cover the red. See it? And then we got other spots where there's a piece of tape that's still stuck there because I cut it so close. That crackle's going to sand down. We're going to have worn, distressed. It's going to look good. But I got other things to worry about. This one's almost done. And this one needs to be completed. I'm going to grind this edge off, cut all the wires out, grind this edge off, cut all the wires out. That should clean up nice. And right away I'm going to jump and skin this side, this end of it, these two panels. And I think I'm going to do the ailerons at the same time. It's easier to do three in a row than uh, one at a shot. You'll be mixing resin all, all the time. So this is how this goes. These are going to have earth magnets on them and they're going to click into place. And I've got a little tab down here so if the magnet didn't hold it, it's not going anywhere. But the ailerons going to be bolted to it just like they are now it's not very heavy it weighs all of I don't know maybe 10 pounds tops it looks pretty good so let's set it here it's been drying for two days so I'm not worried about paint being scratched well one day not that it's going to be Get the little puffs where they uh, spray one under I don't care we got to beat it up. Oh yeah, I'd love to wet sand, but then if I do water, I can't do resin. And if I do paint, I can't do resin. So I'm just going to do resin. This and the two ailerons. See in a little bit. All right, so I've been sanding this thing for like 20 minutes, beating up the paint. Look at the crackle in the white. It's hard to tell from a distance, but you get up close and it's like, what? That's just dirt from sanding it. Also, you can see where the silver breaks through, just a little bit here and there. Anyway, there's a real high spot right there, right there. I'm trying to get you some light here. See the silver breaking through? Because I put a base coat of silver over the whole thing before I did the red because I didn't want it to hit the wires and that's what I just did here put a base coat of silver just something underneath so when you're sanding through it hits the silver not the fiberglass doesn't have to be perfect it's just the color to break through when you hit the other side looks good but I just painted that the freaking mosquitoes are killing me in here and they all disappeared they don't like the paint the edge came out nice too See the edge? Uh, am I zoomed in here? Ooh, here we go. Freaking thing. Here you go, there's the edge. Looks really good. Even looks like material. Even feels like material. But, that one looks really rough. 
I'm going to pop it off, rinse it off, take some pictures, and I'm going in. Have a good night. Been out here all day. Uh, what did I do? I fiberglassed the end of that last night. I ground it today. I sanded it today. I painted it silver today. Um, this one was pretty much done. I just had to uh, do the whole uh, wet sand it to make it look ancient. I just This April 21st was the 100th anniversary of the plane crash. I didn't even know that. Not that. I just never kept an eye on the date. <laughs> see, the, see the wear spots on the wing? This is going to be awesome. That's it, boys and girls. I'm going in. It's pitch black out. <clears throat> Have a good night. All right, well, I took it off again. The silver's dry, so I decided to flip it over and put its first coat of bed liner on the inside. Now, this seals up the wire so they don't get all rusty because metal doesn't stick. Fiberglass doesn't stick to metal very well. And if it rusts, it'll uh, pop right out of here. I'll be going down the road and there'll be a shell flying out. The wire's still staying there. This should do pretty good. I got a little bit on it, but you'll never know. We're going to paint it red tomorrow. About two cans of apple red, a big X, some white, some black. And we're going to have a matching fin, matching wing with a base coat silver that needs to be um, scratched through to make it look old. Look at all that goop. i got to put some more there. Alright, I'm going in. I'm not staying here with this stuff. This thing stinks. That bed liner stuff is nasty. It smells like two times worse than spray paint. Alright, have a good night.